Do you wish you could remember everything forever? Wouldn't that be great? The truth is, you can and you will. With Recall Rehearsal combined with the Memory Palace technique, you can remember everything till the day you die. If you don't know what the Memory Palace technique is, then check out my video on my channel where I teach you the power of the palace. So, memory experts have figured out how many times you need to bring to mind what you are trying to memorize in order to remember it forever. Without further ado, here is what it is. So, what exactly is Recall Rehearsal? Imagine that you've created a memory palace and stored something you need to remember. Let's say that you're aiming to remember all 118 elements of the periodic table for a career in science. You would design a memory palace with 118 stations. After creating vivid images for each element and placing them into a palace, the next step is recall rehearsal. This involves repeatedly walking through your memory palace both forwards and backwards until the information is second nature. The best part is that you don't need to do this for the rest of your life. Memory experts have identified how many times you need to do recall rehearsal to ensure long-term retention. And I am really, really excited to share these strategies with you. I'm going to reference two renowned memory experts. The first one is Dominic O'Brien, an eight-time world memory champion. His rule of five suggests five recall rehearsals are needed in order to put the information into your long-term memory. The five times you would perform recall rehearsal is this. The first time is immediately after completing your memory palace. The second time is 24 hours later. The third time is one week later. The fourth time is one month later. And then the fifth time is three months later. O'Brien believes that this is sufficient for long-term memory. However, I find that this is not enough for me. My very, very slow brain needs a more intensive approach. Okay, let's take a time out to make sure that everyone knows again what recall rehearsal is. It is simply just reviewing the information by closing your eyes and walking through your memory palace and going from station one to your last station in your palace and then doing it backwards. So it's at least one rotation through your memory palace. Sometimes it can take a few seconds or even just a few minutes, unless you like have a a huge memory palace, like a thousand stations long. But the good news is, the more that you do this, the faster you will go, all right? So it just takes practice and then you can like zip through a recall rehearsal really fast. Okay, so the second memory expert that I look up to is Dr. Anthony Metivier. His approach is especially useful for students who need to know the information by heart right now and with 100% accuracy. He has found that his recall rehearsal schedule is more realistic, and I definitely agree with him. He has suggested doing recall rehearsal more like this. The first time is immediately after creating your memory palace, followed by another one one hour later, and then three hours later, and another one five hours later. And then the second day, uh, you would do one rehearsal in the morning, two in the afternoon, and two in the evening, and then one before bed. And then you would just do it once daily uh, the next week. And then the next month, uh, you would just do it once daily for a week. And then after that, you would just do it once a month until you kind of feel like you have it fully ingrained into your long-term memory. This is not a hard and fast rule. And Dr. Anthony does teach that everyone needs to discover their own system for recall rehearsal. For me, I think that because my brain is just, just so slow, uh, because of all my accidents that I've had, that I just need to do more than the average person. And you know what? I'm okay with that because I know that it will go into my long-term memory, even if it takes me more rehearsals than others. I am just so thankful that it does work and that I will be able to remember it. I mean, this it's so revolutionary for me. And yes, it does sound like a lot, but consider this, before learning these techniques, memorizing something as complex as a periodic table in 24 hours would have been impossible for me. Now, it's a reality. In the video description, I have a link to my recall rehearsal schedule planner, where you can download it and start using it to remember everything forever. 
If you're interested in learning more, you can check out my free online course where I teach you how to never forget a person's name or a face again. It is such an amazing technique, guys, and has really changed my life. You can find that link also in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Oh, and if you haven't seen my video about the memory palace technique, you can check it out here. I'll see you next week.